the ES20 LXR Remote Overhead Cutter for hard metal applications. We'll be walking through this tool today in terms of its capacity, its applications, and then just a brief demonstration. Uh, but this is the newest uh, of our remote control battery hydraulic tools. Uh, we started off with our uh, ESG105 uh, underground uh, cable cutter, and then just recently we added the ESG65 uh, underground cable cutter as well. Uh, all powered and all commanded, you could say, by uh, the VTC3 remote control uh, that is applicable with all of these different remote control tools. Uh, all of the tools uh, do have a one-on-one -on -one relationship uh, with a notification from the remote control and the tool combining to make sure that they're paired with each other and we'll walk through that in the demonstration today. But again, we wanted to introduce our, one of our newest tools uh, to the remote application uh, and this is going to be an overhead application, typically uh, working with overhead uh, distribution work. Uh, but what you see here is very similar to our regular ES20 uh, overhead ACSR cutter. But what you can see is there's a little bit of differentiation that's going on here, specifically with the coloration of the yellow uh, housing, uh, the yellow trigger. And then you can also see in between the head and the housing here that we've incorporated a grommet. And ultimately, it's kind of a bushing that allows this tool head to be positioned in various different angles. So. You could say that taking a look at this tool, you could use it in a regular application for overhead, handheld application. Uh, but as the very similar with all of our remote tools, uh, this tool can be put into a remote application. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go through the back of this tool, and we're going to change the profile or the personality of this tool to a remote control configuration. So you can see that on the back, and then you'll tap in with the trigger to make sure that the tool understands that that's what we want it to do. But this is going to have the same uh, capacity as our regular ES20 uh, that is not remote control. It's going to have a 336 uh, ACSR capacity, and then standard ground rod. You're going to have uh, standard guy, soft steel bolts, all in the 3 8 capacity. So the applications for what you're going to be seeing with a tool like this that has a remote uh, uh, programming on it is for hot stick uh, mounts. So typically where you would be in a bucket or you'd be using uh, something that would be over voltage for hand work or something like that, you're going to have to have some type of a minimum approach distance to those applications. And so there are solutions in the marketplace that have uh, long reach cutting profiles, but they're all going to be manual or they're going to be ratchet uh, applications. So what we've done here is literally take our battery hydraulic tool give it that personality that it can be used in a remote control profile, and there you now have something that is battery operated in those historically manual applications. Now we'll do a walk around of the tool. Uh, the yellow, uh, yellow detail on this tool does, make it, uh, identif does identify it as uh, application where you're going to have a remote profile on the tool. And then we also have a trigger jacket. So much like we do with our underground remote applications, we need to lock that trigger out to make sure that it's uh, basically identified uh, that the tool is ready to pair. So ultimately we have something, uh, we have a, a trigger jacket that was specifically designed for this product. You can see that it matches from a yellow perspective and it goes right around the trigger. And then what you see happening on the back of the tool is as soon as that trigger is depressed when it's in its manual uh, manual setting, I'm sorry, when it's in its remote setting, it's going to go through and it's going to start trying to pair up with the remote control. So we're going to take our BTC3, we're going to tap on the trigger, on the toggle switch, and we're going to see that it's starting to look for something to pair to. There we go. So it's asking me if I want to connect to this remote control. I'm going to say yes. And then we're going to get confirmation. You're going to see that the tool is now blinking in the front, and I've got a solid blue on my BTC3. And what we're going to do from that perspective is take this short uh, hot stick here, and we're going to put them on in a similar scenario as to how this tool would be used. So it would be in this type of an application. You're going to see that the tool is on the hot stick. It's connected with that universal spline behind it. And then I'm going to double tap on the trigger for the BTC3. 
and then it automatically retracts by itself. The ES20 LXR Remote Overhead Cutter from Greenlee.